Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. Alright, I don't think I can make it any more exciting than that. So, we got the old speckled hen from England. Uh, it's an English fine ale. It says, seek out something different. It's better to give than receive. Bottle and glass gift pack. Deliciously smooth. A fox. A most gratifying ale. Bursting with character. Don't look. A gift horse in the mouth. A distinctively rich malty taste. These are all quotes that they've got all over the all over the box. Old speckled hen has been distinctive, rich malty has had. Sorry. Old speckled hen has a distinctive, rich malty taste. Bus, uh, bursting with character, fruity aroma, and it's deliciously smooth. First brewed to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the MG car used as a factory run around and effectively known as the old, the owled speckled un. Check it out. The, the owled, actually like owl, owled, speckled un. I don't know why, but that's how it was called. The owl, the owled speckled un. <laughs> it's four dollars and seventy cents. We've got a three hundred fifty milliliter bottle here at five point two percent ABV. Comes with a pint glass and take off the cap. That's what you got. Old speckled hen. Old speckled hen. A little plastic cover here. Glass, which I just recently rinsed out, which is why it looks all retarded. Um, this comes off that, and here we go. Wow, it's not really big beer at all. Even got a little crown at the bottom here. Incredibly uh, cold brew here. Very nice and crisp looking. So I'm just going to put this all back together. Now that this is all done. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a Moreland established 1771 1711, sorry. Named after an unusual speckled vintage MG car, blah, 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 which owes its distinctive character and dry taste to a unique strain of yeast first used in 1896. So, we got a little bit more to bargain with here, people. All right. That's the glass. Old speckled, old speckled hen. You can read it on it. There you go. That's pretty much it. We got a little bit of a kind of, as you can see, it's jagged edged here. This came out for the 2011 holiday, or 2012 New Year uh, release. Not too much head there, but it's starting to accumulate. I'm not serving this too cold. Still not really picking up on any of the aromas. It's got a very interesting uh, orangey, kind of almost raspberry looking color here. Uh, Off-white head, almost no head, almost no aroma. It's got an incredibly robust multi flavor. I mean, there's not too much to it. Um, oh, cool. Missed out here. There's a, we've got a fox. It is incredibly refreshing. It goes down very much like a lager uh, or a pilsner. Not very carbonated. So uh, in some strange way, it, it has a, a very unique and interesting flavor that any lager or English ale, perhaps, or for say... Uh, really has in taste. Uh, one thing I'm going to say though is that this is an English fine ale so this should have been drank at a little bit more of a warmer temperature. <laughs> That's probably also why there isn't very much lace or head whatsoever. But uh, regardless of how it looks, it, it does taste quite refreshing and uh, the carbonation is there. I really can't pick up on those flavors. Very, very interesting. It's almost kind of like a English ale nutty approach, if that makes any sense. Mm. 
yeah, it's, uh, that's all I can really say, man. Not too much more to it. It says men are supposed to drink between three to four of them a day and women two to three. No complaints. It's uh, quite delicious, actually. Uh, no complaints at all. Uh, I, if I were to drink this at more of a uh, closer to room temperature, I would still have a UK, like, you know, English, Alish kind of uh, a taste. Uh, I would actually recommend this to one of my buddies who's a really big uh, English ale fan. Very, very crisp. That's uh, probably one of the best ways that I can define this beer. Very crisp. Um, yeah, so what am I going to rate this? Uh, probably going to rate this... Three point seven out of five. I'm not gonna stick with that. There's nothing wrong with that rating. I got carbonation on my mouse. All right, people. So thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly.